How are you doing? Joe Biggs. Nice to meet you. How are you doing, Joe Biggs? You probably saw me on the media talking to him. How are you doing? What's your name? Sam here. Hi, Sam. You spoke to my lawyer. Joe Kerman. Chief. It's good to see you, buddy. Hey, listen. Um, if you guys are here, obviously, um, and have CCWs, I don't have any problem with that. We all do. My only problem is the long guns and inciting these guys out here. I don't need the headache. I've been doing this for the last year. So I think last November we talked about CCWs are fine. Um, what do you guys, what's your goal here? What's your mission? Protect these two women. Because we had a reporter beat up a couple of months ago. I know that. We had a New York Times reporter and a post dispatch reporter that was so roughed up in the United States. Let me ask you this. And I'm not doing this as a threat, I'm just asking. No, we're listening. Do you guys got a security license? We don't need one. Yeah, you actually do. So, That's all if we hire them. Actually, no, I just got a legal Hey, Chief, are you familiar with 44.101 not an Missouri attorney. revised? That's statute. why I have attorneys, okay? No, attorney, man. I, and I'm not arguing with you, okay? No, I'm just telling you, I have attorneys. I didn't go to law school. So you guys may be attorneys, I don't know, okay? But I went. I reached out to the attorney today, and I asked him about this because I needed an opinion on it. Uh, and he said, employ doesn't necessarily mean pay. It means employ like you would employ a tool or like a for the work deploy. That's exactly what. Okay. Well, would you do your favor? Will you ask the attorney to review 44 I will. I will. I will continue to ask him to make sure that he looks into this because apparently he's missed that law. But that was but signed here, in the law here's by the my goal. Okay. I get where you guys are coming from. I get what you stand for. I agree probably with most of you. Okay. But what I can't have here is any sort of a problem where I have officers out here for several nights. I get kicked in the uh, rear end over this deal, etc. It just causes headaches. Gentlemen, all I'm trying to do is manage this thing. You, you please need to understand. That. No, we well, do. I mean, we I'm understand. not going to be trying. I'm not trying to go down here and and mess but with people. But last night that happened. Okay? Well, no. What we did is we walked around, and that's some of the word on the street was. But if you actually look at a lot of the video, a lot of people came over. We opened up dialogue. We talked about Second Amendment. We talked I about all kinds of. I understand. People came up, hugged these guys, shook their hands because we have they've a lot seen of their. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure you do. Built some rapport with them. And I grew up just north of here, too. So, you know, that's got a rapport in the old north on Turner's gym up here. I mean, I get it. Okay. So, I understand where I am, too. Uh, but more than anything else, uh, this community is going to have to have a chance to get back to where it needs to be, as every community can find that for. And these, well, there is a lot of good people down there. You guys saw them last night. Yeah. What you're saying is true. Yeah. And I just want to be out there for these guys. And I certainly want to be out there for my police officers out here. So, you know, we don't have to uh, just continue this night after night. You guys continue to do exactly what I see you doing right now. I have zero problem. Okay? What I don't want to have to see is slung exterior weapons. So, again, I'm not... We can debate all we want no, to. No, no, no. We toned it down tonight. We toned it down tonight. I know trying to respect and what and you I, had to say. I appreciate that. I really but, do. Well, we'd like you to respect the state law. If you don't like it, have the legislators change it. Again, I have attorneys, you have attorneys. I can deal with that later, okay? It's an open carry state. Our attorney is right. and, and the law, when there's an emergency declared, state law prohibits any government official from confiscating firearm or oh, ammunition from a citizen. An emergency has not been declared. Executive order has been declared. And there's a difference there, okay? So, that's our got, county executive said on the news yesterday. Well, it's an executive order. I have a copy of it. But regardless, you guys are fine right now. Right. I just don't want anything salacious or provocative to, to just churn this up right. any more than it is. So okay? we don't want to do that. We're not here for that. And that's exactly where I am, so that's why I wanted to come over and talk to you guys about we it. We so appreciate you where that. I was, okay? You and I appreciate what you guys have done in service of our country. You well, know that. We thank you for that. Okay? Chief. God bless you guys. And you. Thank you. You'll be safe, okay? Thank you. Take care. Be safe. See you, Sam. You'll be safe, okay? How you just... Thank you.